Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag is in the joint, where every day is payday baby, you tuned in to another video, and uh, I, I guess I'm kind of a little late on this news, but it has come through my uh, my feed, uh, two guys have signed um, a new player, a former uh, Bruin, and she actually scored the game winning goal for her team, um, a, UCL, UC, a UCLA, yeah. I know Alex Morgan played for UCLA. A lot of players have played for UCLA. Anyways, I think this is a great signing. She's a Mexican international as well. American, Mexican-American, just like uh, Maria Sanchez, and just like some other players that, you know, that have American parents born in Mexico or Mexican parents are born in... I don't know how it works. I don't believe in none of that nationality stuff. But when it comes to football, they have to play based upon uh, what parents they were born with, you know. I'm above that. Um... But when we talk about football, it's because it's still how they how many people view football based upon what what team, you know, nationality, all that stuff, culture, stuff like that, all that stuff. I don't believe in. But hey, it is what it is. But anyways, Tigas have signed, I think it's Mighty Common Reyes, right? So um I'm really excited to just see based upon us not me not even knowing who Mia was and her success she had with Tigas. Um, uh, honestly, is it has me even more excited uh, to see the next player come from UCLA to come play with Tigas. Um, and also, I think this is a great thing for Mexico because she's uh, apparently she's been with Mexico. She's been playing with Mexico uh, first team. So I was like, oh, well, this is fantastic. Now we know another player and Tigas snack her. So I think overall, this is just great. And I do think that, I mean... I'm starting to see like this could be a, a great pipeline for the Mexican international ladies as well if they go to the American college and then end up saying we're not going to the NWSL we're going to go to the to um, our home we have a club we have a league of our own we'll get this D1 we'll gain the experience on how the Americans play and then take it to the Mexican national team and I think this could be a good way a good starting point for more ladies to do that if they are um, Mexican nationality descent and just in general any nationality any nationality can do that any ladies from wherever they're from can do that but I do think Mexico this could benefit them uh, really well and uh, like I said the fact that Mia was a golden boot winner she's still rookie um, and then now we have another Bruin come in I think this is gonna be interesting I've never seen her play um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, her in the midfield. I think she's a midfield player. Um, but uh, we're going to watch this thing that they shared uh, on Twitter. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Opportunities to demonstrate who we are, where we come from, and where we want to go. What we want to achieve. The team where nobody gives up, where nobody stops fighting. Where nobody stops believing. Awesome. Uh, I'll we can watch it again, but just in the background. Uh, yeah, what a great video for her. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I had no idea, you know. Um, I had no idea this would be um the signing. And uh, like I said, she's oh, she's twenty two. She's a Taurus, just like Mia. So I'm like, okay, I like the energy, same energy as Mia. So I do think she'll fit right in. I don't see anything. Um. I don't see anything that could 
or potentially hurt her. Um, but yeah, so I mean, NWSL could have got a player like her. But you know, I was thinking too, it was pretty funny. I'm not too sure uh, when she made her decision. And, um, but it's pretty funny. Like, you think of the end of yourself, or you just think about like getting a job in general in the Matrix. It's like, would you go to a place that has so much scandal? And I think end of yourself has so much scandal right now. They are now, in a way, not saying their USA is. Gonna, I mean, not saying it is. Oh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be able to have you know talented players um, from the college system come to the end of yourself. But in a way, there is so much scandal where. I want, I want that picture right there. In a way, there's so much. There's so much scandal. There's so much scandal. Would you even, as a young player, would you even want to go over there? You know what I mean. So it makes sense why um, we may see a, a lot more players. See, like, look, and like I said. I'm not even sure how talented she is, but apparently she's real good. I mean, I think she's good based upon, you know, Tigas one and the signer. You know, I, I, I'm just giving her that, even though I've never seen her play football ever. Um, in the so maybe a, I, I, as a young player, as a young person, I don't know if I would want to go into an environment like that where they're still dealing with their own uh, problems. And I know other leagues have problems, but NWSL has a big one, and it's worldwide known. And so I can understand these young players thinking, do I have a better option coming out of college? And I do think, uh, like I said, this is a great for the Mexican national team. And I want to see how many more players, even American players, decide, you know, we're going to go see if we can get, you know, especially with now we have a Canadian manager in Mexico. How many more, quote unquote, foreign managers will come to Mexico and try to earn a team spot. Um, Tigas is the, f I mean, that's, I think that's so different. I don't, I usually don't see, it. I think, I think it's because I just, you have a, she's, I haven't seen a, a, a Canadian in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, what? Do you even see that? Is that even logic? But it just shows you the boundaries must be shattered. I mean, the, you yeah, gotta think outside the box. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. You could, you, if you, if you can go and coach the ladies and, and the team, the management wants you, no matter what background you come from, you can be successful. And so, um, like I said, I think this is a, I don't know, something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. We're seeing younger players. I think they have a lot more decisions now. They have a lot more power, which is great. It's liberating them. They have more outlets, not just the NWSL. NWSL are starting will start to lose that college pipeline if they do not get their act together and these scandals stay out and they really need to make sure that these managers that they hire you know are upright people but if they're not everything's going to be revealed everything's going to be shown because at the end of the day i mean there's no things nothing can be hidden anymore as small or little it's just that's what's happening and especially something like the end of cell their their system is faulty and uh we've been uh uh, enlightened about it um but anyways i'm really excited to see carmen um miss reyes play uh for tigas feminine this year i think tigas play about maybe two more weeks um and apparently yeah they play about a good two more weeks uh so i'm looking forward to seeing how they do of course they're champions and they're going to be coming off looking strong and um anyways uh Hopefully, like I said, I'm not too sure how many Mexicans are in college in general, but are playing or getting called up for the Mexican national team. But hopefully, uh, Ms. Reyes, she's able to um, gravitate even more. I'm not like gravitate even more. Uh, I'm not just say she. Hopefully, she's able to showcase for the other ladies that are in America. That are going to the college to hey you can come over here and help start your personal professional career uh, just like mia did and just like a lot of some of the other players did we know that didn't some that didn't even go to college but i think that's really fantastic for her and i'm looking forward to seeing her but anyways in general thank y'all once again everyone for tuning in to anita's joint hashtag is to the joint where every day is payday baby
It's your girl, Nita, flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, deuces.